Hi guys, we currently in Iceland in a campsite Tiada uh, and we want to give you a quick tour of uh, Nissan NV200 from Go Campers. So we on the last day we emptied all of the stuff from the van so you can have a good look. Uh, we're just on the way to uh, Glimmore waterfall, we, we're going to do our last hike. But before we do that we just want to show you around the van. Here's the back door. Just want to show you how it looks from the outside first and let's start with the let's start with the cockpit okay so we're now inside the uh, cockpit of the of the car so the main thing you need to know about the car this is the manual car so um, if you're not familiar with driving manual car just go for the automatic car um, another thing to to notice is um, you definitely need something like a like a power inverter for the car. So this is what we bought. This is this one supports USB Type C, so you can pretty much charge all of your all of your like devices like camera, drones, or laptops just with that. It will charge really fast. The company uh, also allows you to rent it, but I think I recommend just for you to buy it. It will it will, it will be cheaper, and then you can probably use it in your own car in the future. Um, another thing you need to know: there's no, there's no dedicated um, phone holder. So basically, what we did is just my phone fits just perfectly inside the cup holder here. So when I'm driving, I just literally have it just like that, with the um, with the GPS, so I can see it all the time. So this is another thing you need to notice: there's nothing that there's nowhere you can really put your phone. But maybe your phone will fit here, which is which was really lucky for me. Another thing you need to know, um, okay, there's, um, there is a Bluetooth here, so basically um, once you leave the Reykjavik, there will be very, very, uh, not, many, not many radio stations, so just make sure you get your own music, put it on, uh, on your phone and then you can use the Bluetooth to play, and play your own music throughout the trip. And the last thing you need to know is the, the heater is just inside the cockpit. Unfortunately, actually, because I think I've seen some of the vans have a heater installed in the back. So which is a little bit inconvenient when you go when you go sleep at night you pull the curtain away you uh, you will have to sort of uh, open the curtain and just turn it on and off from here basically before you go sleep you just um, you just um, heat up the van for like 15 minutes once it's warm you just turn it off and then you go sleep okay that's that's about it from the front okay so here's the inside of the van once you open the sliding door this is how it looks from the inside so here's your bed, which is a folding bed. So basically all you have to do is just pull it out and it will just unfold. And then you hook it with those lines to the seat belts. So it will basically stay, I will show you this one in a minute, it will stay hooked up. Um, what, uh, what also they will provide you is just, um, just a couple of basic pillows. But I would probably recommend you just bring your own, own pillowcases so you can put it, put it across or bring your own pillows, whatever you, whatever you are comfortable with. They give you a um, couple blankets as well and then fitted sheet. Fitted sheet so once you unfold the bed you can just put the sheet um, on top of it. So that's pretty good. There's also uh, a box here which has some uh, cutting board and some of your like plates, cups, some kitchen utensils. Uh, so all you have to do when you're driving just just hook it up here so it's not gonna, it's not gonna move around. Um, what else do we have here? We have a curtain here. Before you go sleep, you're gonna just basically uh, fold it like this, so it's gonna be black, nice and black inside. Um, especially in the summer, uh, the daylight is you, you will see you will see like pretty much is bright all night. So so this is this is a very nice nice feature. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I'll show you now how to unfold the bed. Here's a quick demo of how to uh, uh, open up the bed. So every time you do it, before you do that, make sure you have your seats folded. And there's a little strap in the back which is, you just open it up before you unfold it. So the main thing like you can have your you can have your suitcases in here. Like it will easily fit two large, two medium to large size of suitcases underneath it, and you can put your backpacks and other stuff in here. So everything will be just basically uh, sitting underneath the van. And this is how you do it, you just basically pull it here. So it will open up and then you have a little you have two little hooks in here, which you hook it 
around the seat belt and you do the uh, you do the same thing on the other side and let me just show you uh, basically how big it is so it will fit easily I'm about 184 centimeters you can see I fit easily in here so even larger person should should technically uh, fit in here without any problems so um, yeah it's good for two people three people will be a bit of a stretch uh, yeah but it's definitely good for two people here's the back of the van let me just show you how to open it so you just click it here left side opens make sure every time every time it's very windy make sure you be very careful with the doors make sure one person is maybe holding it when you're opening up um, so here's the left side here's how you open the right side and here's the back of the van let me just here's all your all of your um, kitchen utensils in here like a stove and a fridge and everything so here's I hope you got two clips you got two clips to open it so just pull it up push it back left pull it up push it back there we go so here's the back of the here's your your kitchen area so here's a little shelf which pulls out and here's your, your portable stove so basically you can you can pretty much you don't you're not like limited it's not like built into the into the van you, you can basically cook anywhere you want doesn't have to be uh, inside it but what we found is the best to cook uh, when especially when it's very windy best to just keep the, keep it here and keep the, these doors keep these doors like this so there won't be any wind so basically try to position your van against the wind with the doors open and put your stove re right here so you shouldn't have any problems with cooking even if it's if it, even if it's quite windy another thing we have here is the fridge the portable fridge so you just pull it out the same way as you pull out this one so um, it's very simple fridge you just open it here it maybe show just it doesn't fit a lot of stuff in here it just fits like just don't buy too much maybe it fits about two days of worth of two three days worth of groceries um, and there's a there's a way there's a way right now it's switched off but there's you when you're driving when you're driving the van it will basically you have to plug it in from the inside and then it will basically start cooling cooling the the stuff as you drive and i'm going to show you how to plug it in from the inside so here's the cable you just you just plug it in here you go to the back but actually the engine has to be switched on okay i'm not sure if you can see it but once you are uh, once you uh, plug in the cord in you will see all the green lights coming up and then it will start start um it will display you like it will blink here that it's cooling it so once it's like uh fully fully blue it means it's just it's just cold okay let's just let's just have a look some other stuff in here I'll just fold this one back last area here is the you get like this type of water bottle which you can fill up with the tap water every time you stop you don't need to buy any uh, bottled water in Iceland basically tap water is pretty much good to drink straight away so you always have this one which is very convenient always refill it in every stop you got your frying pan it's a little bit mixed up everything it's a little bit all over the place but you just get an idea so you get your frying pan you get your plates you get some knives and obviously you'll get stuff to uh, to clean up your dishes like some brushes sponge some towels there's some oil here but and but that's yeah and then yeah that's pretty much it that's how you fold it push it all back in close it about it okay thank you thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found find it useful for us uh, we basically we made this video because we were looking for the same type of video online and uh, we couldn't find any uh, good information about this particular vehicle this just they have a really good web pictures on the website but there's nothing really like not 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 we haven't seen in like a tour of the van that's why we recorded this video uh, yeah it's our last day like i said before We'll be heading to the Glimmer waterfall and then spending last night in a Reykjavik. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.